Hello, this is Adam Buddy Meyer, and today I'm going to be doing another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung 32-inch Smart TV. Uh, this is a TV I picked up for $399, US and it is definitely better than I expected. Um, the reason for this review is basically to guide you maybe into a future purchase of this TV, or possibly if you're like, I don't know what TV to get, I would highly recommend this TV. Um, we're basically going to go over the physical aspects of the TV, such as the thickness, the ports, um, and just overall size and width, that sort of a thing. And then we're going to uh, overall look at the picture quality, um, maybe view HD, uh, and then also the TV. And the last thing we're kind of going to get to is the smart screen, the whole smart part of the TV. Um, and just how the internet works on it. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to basically give you an overall opinion of how I would rate this and if I would recommend this to certain different scenarios. So, yeah, let's go check out what the TV looks like. All right, folks, here we have the outside of the TV. Uh, as you can notice, the base of the stand is kind of a four-prong really spread out and the bottom has sort of a rubbery thing that um, the TV sits on um, just to look at the overall like front of the TV it's very sleek design um, if you zoom in here you can see that there's the Samsung logo that is made of a plastic material and here we also have the remote um, very well thought out uh, the channel and volume buttons, the numbers, and then more of the smart controls down here. Um, this is your main smart um, menu button that is very useful, and obviously the power button right here. Alright, let's... The TV is actually a swiveling TV, so it doesn't go a full 180 degrees, obviously, but it does swivel a little bit right here. Um, I'll just let you get a basic idea of the thickness of the TV um, that gives you a rough reference maybe an inch or two thick okay let's zoom into the ports here um, right here we have a USB which I have a keyboard or a mouse hooked up to currently there's another USB port um, this right here is an HDMI port and here I have an HDMI cord hooked up and underneath that, we have your, just your standard cable um, hookup right there. If you come around here, we have a third HDMI port right here. Uh, below that, we have this IR out, which is this thing right here, which lets you connect to different Samsung devices, which is actually a pretty interesting feature. Below that, we have your audio output. Here we have an Ethernet hookup. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can still connect this TV to um, the Internet, which is a nice feature to have. We have your video, which is if you have uh, red, yellow, and white cables, that's where that would go. Um, and then you have your blue and red hookups, which uh, the green, red, and blue are basically your higher definition of just standard cables. Over here we have your digital audio output. We also have an X-Link thing, which I have no idea what that is, <laughs> but um, it has to be important or it wouldn't have been on there. Um, and then obviously your red and white audio for the yellow, red, and white cables. Over on the far side of the TV is where the actual power source plugs in, and it's just a cord. There's no power brick you have to worry about, so that is very nice. So overall, we basically have a very nice, sleek looking design, very good, um, kind of a modern looking thing. Uh, I really like the remote, um, it's one of the better remotes I've seen. You'd be surprised at how many products somebody can screw up with a bad remote. So now we're going to get in to a little picture quality. Um, the way to turn it on is you can either hit the power button 
Whereas there, there's also a power button back here, which my finger is resting on right now, that you can just turn on. Alright, let's get to the picture quality. Okay, so here we are at our TV. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button to start the TV. And you'll notice that it says Smart TV as soon as you turn it on. Very beautiful picture. I remember the first time that I started up the TV straight out of the box. It was magnificent, the little um, intro that they had in my mind nearly exploded. Um, at the top of the screen you'll notice that whenever you start up your TV it'll take you to the source that you had last whether it was HDMI input or whether you were on TV on that exact channel um, and it will be playing in the corner and I know that it looks like it's not moving but if you look in the corner I can press the start of my Xbox and it's actually real-time um, footage over here. I can sign into my Xbox right now and actually play uh, some Madden. Um, I introduce you to the top of the screen like I was telling you. Um, there's five different tabs. The first is on On TV. If you scroll to the right, notice that the music just stopped right there. But um, as we go to the final tab, I'll show you something cool. Uh, this is movies and TV shows. Basically, you can download online content. Uh, if you played movies from a USB drive or uploaded pictures or something, it'll remember the last ones you uploaded and you can be able to play them. The social media aspect uh, basically gives you YouTube or Skype. If you have... Um, a video camera that you connect through USB then you can actually Skype somebody directly from your TV which is really uh, impressive basically here's the apps this is where you're going to be spending most of your time if you're investing in a smart TV um, whether it's Netflix or if it's the Samsung App Store where you're trying to figure stuff out uh, this I would also recommend this ESPN score center app that's really good if you're watching sports you can see up-to-date scores from all over the league. And obviously you have your web browser over here if you just want to surf the internet. Uh, the thing I will say about the web browser is I noticed that the mouse is a little buggy whenever you uh, scroll up and down. Um, notice that when I scroll over to the right that you can still kind of see in the corner the screen and it's moving. Um, the really cool thing about Samsung is they have a really nice... In incorporated um, operating system so you can just kind of scroll and it almost has that widget effect which Samsung uh, highly shows in their products whether you get their phones or the TVs or whatever so we'll go ahead and click on the full picture of I'm currently playing Madden 25 the brand new Madden which I also did a review on um, and we're just going to show you a little HD gameplay now first when you go to the screen notice how vibrant and bright the screen picture is it is absolutely fantastic um, we're just gonna go to something called skills trainer for now and this is just basically a way to practice uh, controls on Madden just to give you a sample of what video gameplay is like all pro it's gonna be really hard um, it's okay though. So as this is loading, I just kind of want to go over um, some specs of the TV. Uh, this TV that I have is 1080p and 120 hertz. I think I mentioned that before. Um, very nice refresh rate. Regardless if, even if it was 60 hertz, it's not something that's noticeable to the naked eye, but is uh, very impressive um, to have and just is really nice. It does have three HDMI inputs, has two USB inputs. Um, it is Energy Star efficient, so it's a very energy friendly and just overall good TV. All right, let's go ahead and get to some gameplay here. Uh, we're gonna go just a running drill for now. Um, we're gonna go Oklahoma offense, how about it? Let's skip the video.
Hey, look, I scored a touchdown. <laughs> we'll do about three more, and then we'll switch back to the TV. Alright, so now we're going to go back and any time that you're doing anything you can hit the source button and it takes you to this menu where you can choose HDMI, TV, whatever and you can also hit the smart hub option and it will take you back to this home screen so we're going to hit it again, take it back here and just take you to the TV portion of this. Uh, this is obviously a broken channel but we're going to start us off on an HD channel, which is NBC. Once again, this is we'll just basically show you the kind of HD quality on the TV. This is a soccer game. Um, just any sport in general is just magnificent to just watch on this TV. Um, we're going to take you to a channel that is not in HD, such as Fox Sports Midwest here. Um, here, we're going to show you how to get to different picture modes. When you get your TV, it will most likely be in this mode right here. Um, this is 4.3, which is just your standard TV if you just have the standard cable hookup. If you have an HDMI cable, it'll probably already be in the 16.9 uh, format, which is just simply the ratio of the TV. And the 4.3 is what the classic tube TV's uh, ratios were. Um, the, there's a lot more picture options to choose from as far as these, this TV goes. Um, has a smart view, which that really didn't change it. But 16.9 is just the standard. And notice that it didn't make uh, the players look any fatter. If you do zoom, um, it obviously cuts off parts of the screen. And there's all different kinds of options that you can choose depending on what channel you have. But just as a standard, I keep it on 16.9. And it tends to work out for just about every channel. Um, that was from the tools option on your remote. Um, there's also... Uh, let's get into more of the Smart Hub thing. Just kind of give you a preview of what the App Store looks like. Here's the Samsung App Store. Click on it, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. If you have a you um, Ethernet connection, you can also hook up to the internet and just browse whatever you want on here. Um, essentially, uh, you can search whatever apps, which I've downloaded all these, the Netflix, Pandora, Hulu, that sort of a thing. Um, if you wanted to search an app, like let's say I wanted to search the word star. Okay, I'll click on this, and I would go to the S, which is obviously this is your QWERTY keyboard. Uh, you can capitalize, shift, all that. Um, so if I want to type in the word star, I type in an S. It gives me an option. I could come over here and press a T that way I could manually come over and press the T and notice that it's also given me options of common words that start with S at the top so I'm gonna backspace I'm gonna go ahead and type the word in again star and I'm gonna do it the shortcut way which is a T here automatically gives you the most common letter after the ST which is A and then R and then you can there's sometimes there's a check mark there other times you can just go ahead up here click OK or just get out of it in general so we're just going to click on that and click done and there is surprisingly a few apps relating to stars um, I don't know why you'd want these apps but that was just a sample okay so we're going to go ahead and hit the return button and that takes you back to the main menu and also gives you different sorts of things such as videos, games, sports, lifestyle information, education. And basically, um, most of these apps are free. There are some that you can pay for. If you're that desperate to pay for apps, I would most likely recommend doing it on an iPad or such. Um, unless you really think it's going to be necessary for your TV and you can't live without it. Uh, but I find that there's plenty of options on here to give you the ultimate source of entertainment.
So we're going to go back to the uh, the main screen here, the, the smart hub, and back to the HDMI thing here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just go through some uh, certain things about the TV. Let's go with just the outside physical presence of the TV. I would ultimately rate this TV as a 10 out of 10. And that's over everything. I think this is one of the most fantastic TVs that I've really set my eyes on. Um, as far as the outside goes, I think that the four-prong uh, base to the stand is unique. And I really haven't seen any other TVs use anything besides a square base. Uh, Samsung and Sony are about the only ones that have really um, gone outside the box and made it really clever. Um... As far as the thickness of the TV, you're talking about an LED TV here, so it is extremely thin. Um, I like the fact that not a whole lot of TVs only have, a lot of TVs only have two HDMI inputs. The fact that it has a third one makes me feel a lot better. Um, I did, you can purchase HDMI splitters to give you more um, HDMI inputs, but overall I would say that that's better. Um, Screen picture quality, amazing. Uh, if you've purchased any Samsung product, you already know this, that their screens are just fantastic. Um, as far as the uh, smart hub interface, once again, 10 out of 10, I would say that um, it's pretty extremely user friendly. Um, if you are into Netflix or that sort of a thing, it's easy to access um, and just prevent, provides just an ultimate experience on a TV. If you are um, more into just watching channels and you know you're probably not going to use you know Facebook or Netflix or something like that uh, I would not recommend this TV for you. Um, the picture quality is very good but there are other Samsung TVs that they have with the almost the exact same picture quality and it's a lot cheaper so you're going to be saving a lot of money that way. If you how are, are ever um, an entertainment junkie, this is definitely the TV for you. Um, as far as gaming goes, gaming looks perfect on this TV. Um, Netflix looks perfect. Just just anything you can really think of that you can do on a TV. You can hook up a, a portable hard drive to the TV, watch videos on it. It's The sky is the limit on what you can do. Uh, one thing I will say about the TV is when I first unwrapped it and got it out of the box, the inputs on the back were a little stiff. Um, Putting an audio input and in that special Samsung thing I showed you earlier uh, was kind of a pain to put in. Um, they, they will loosen up over time and um, just be gentle when putting them in for the first time, I'll say that, uh, so you don't damage your TV. But other than that, I would say this is probably, as far as a compact TV goes, probably the best TV on the market for you. Um, you can pick this up at Best Buy or Amazon or anywhere that's sold online or in stores. Um, thanks again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe to my video. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.